Now that we've finished Chapter 4, we're ready to move into Unit 5, Applications of Integration. Our first is going to be finding the area between curves. We're going to start find the area between curves. In the textbook, this is Section 5.1, or on my math lab, it's homework number 7. Let's look at the first example. The problems you should do from the text 1, 3, 5, 11, and 13. I'm not going to do number 1 for you, but I've done number 2 from the textbook, which is very similar to number 1. For problem number 1, we're given this, this problem. Find the area between y equals 2x and y equals x squared minus 4x. So in other words, we're trying to find this shaded area. To do this, the first step is going to be to find the intersection points, these two pink points. Now, in your book, the two pink points are actually in the graph that we've got 0, 0, and 6, 12. But let me walk you through how to find those algebraically. If we have these two functions, y equals x squared minus 4x, y equals 2x. We use our pre-calculus algebra to solve the system of equations. Thinking 2x, we'd substitute, we could use the substitution method since y is x squared minus 4x and y is 2x I, with 2x. If we replace y with 2x, we get 2x equals x squared minus 4x. In solving that for x, we, we uh, review, we get a quadratic equation. When we subtract 2x from both sides, we get a quadratic equation x squared minus 6x. And we solve that quadratic equation by setting it equal to 0 factoring. If factoring didn't work, we could use a quadratic formula. But when we solve this, we get that x equals 0 or x minus 6 equals 0. So we get x equals 0 or x equals positive 6. Those are the two x points, the 0 and the 6. And then y is the same as f of x. So y is 2x. y, when x is 0, is 0 y when x is 6 gives us 12 because 2 times 6. So the first step is to find the points of intersection and we find that with pre-calculus algebra. The next step is to think through which of the functions is on the top, greatest of the two, which has a greater height. Notice that this red function is above the blue x squared minus 4x so, uh, so what we're going to do in step three, subtract the area below this red curve, so the area below 2x, that's all of this area, so that's the integration from x equals 0 to x equals 6. Do you see where that 0 and 6 came from? came from the two uh, intersection points. Because the first inter when we first start the area, x equals 0. When we end the area, x equals 6. So we're integrating from x equals 0 to x equals 6. The red function, when we do this red, this red integral, we're finding the area under y equals 2x. And then what we're going to subtract under the blue, x squared minus 4x, that's all of this area. And what we're going to be left with is the area between the two. So notice what we do is we do the top function minus the bottom function and integrate those. So we get the integration from x equals 0 to x equals x minus quantity x squared minus 4x. We get minus x squared minus negative 4x, so plus 4x. And when we simplify that, we get negative x plus 6x. So we want to integrate negative x squared plus 6x from x equals 0 to x equals 6 over 
dx. Using what you know from unit four, this integration is negative x to the two plus one over two plus one, plus six x to the one plus one over one plus one from zero to six. And when uh, we simplify that a little, so divide by, by uh, two, you get negative one third x cubed plus three x squared, substituting in a six for x, and then subtract from that the equal zero, which is just zero. So we end up getting 36. Let's look at the next example. The next example, uh, you should do homework problem number three, if you're doing homework out of the textbook. I'm gonna do number four, which is similar. So in number four, we're given the, the it's the same as number three, number three and number four, we're given a graph and we wanna find the area between them. The only difference here is that we don't have a function that's above and below. We have functions that are solved for x rather than solved for y. So now we don't have an f of x, which is y. We have an f of y, which is x. So since we're given two functions, we're now gonna do whatever's to the right minus whatever's to the left. So again, we start with the intersection points. Use elimination to find the intersection. So we can find the intersection. Uh, I'm gonna use sub the elimination method. So we've got minus four y minus x equals negative y squared plus two y. X minus x is zero. Y squared minus negative y squared. It's the same thing as y squared plus y squared gives us two y squared negative 4 at 4y rather negative 4y minus 2y gives us negative 6y and so we get this quadratic equation which we can solve by factoring the two factors are 2y and y minus 3 setting them equal to 0 we get y equals 0 and y equals 3 so we can get the two intersection points y equals 0 and then solve uh, for f of 0, f of 0 is going to give us x, f of 0 equals 0, so the first point is y equals 0, x equals 0, and then when y equals 3, 3 is a negative 3. Once we have those intersection points, we're going to subtract the rightmost function from, or minus the leftmost function, so it's, it's the left function subtracted from the right function. So we're gonna integrate from y equals y equals three. So our endpoints are zero and three. Our indices are y equals zero, y. We've got our rightmost function, two y minus y squared minus the leftmost most function, y squared minus four y. Simplifying that, we've get, we get two y uh, minus y squared minus negative 4y, so that's plus 4y. Y, fact, uh, like, not uh, over as in divided by, but integrated over dy. When we simplify this, we get negative 2y squared plus 6y. When we integrate that, you do 2 thirds y cubed plus 3y squared from y equals zero to y equals three. Substituting in a three for y gives us negative 18 plus 27. Substituting in a zero for y gives us zero. And so we get a final result of nine. So the area between those two curves is nine. Find the area between two functions when the graph is given to you. So when we have a picture already of what the two functions look like, so that's similar to three. I'm gonna stop the video here so that it doesn't get too long to upload.